College students head back to campus this year. They'll find a new trend that promises to lower the cost of textbooks. On your site, consumer reporter Jen Strothman shows you if it's a good idea to rent instead of buy. Well, you have more options than ever when it comes to getting books for classes. It's no longer just new and used books. Now there are e-books and rented books. E-books allow you to download the book to your smartphone or computer. The only problem, there's usually a limit to how many pages you can print at once. Renting is another popular choice at Cleveland State University. You'll pay 50% less than the new price tag. Other colleges offer a 50% savings. Deciding if it's right for you depends on the budget and the class. You might find is useful for your reference library or uh, maybe helpful for you in future classes and you won't have it that way. Deciding whether to rent or buy used is a toss-up, really. While used costs more upfront, you could spend less than renting if you get a high buyback price. The problem is you can't control the resale price. It depends on if the course is taught the next semester and how many students enroll. Go to Newsnet5.com. I put together an easy-to-follow guide for all these sites to save you money. On your side, I'm consumer reporter Jen Strathman, News Channel 5.